round walkthroughs gameplay video of Vigilante's Alpha Demo. I'm the Spline here playing Vigilante's Alpha Demo again, and let's continue. Alright, so let's do mission one Cassius Belli. Sam walks into the trail or into the tail end of a vine mugging. Reasons and sense of shell preservation scream at him to walk away, yet he finds himself unable. As what I. Get these guys. Our brother, our brother Powell, who turns to face you. The flash, or the flash, the flash kid and cookie jar's expressions hardened into hostile sneers. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, the flashed. Stop. Kid in the Kenny, or kid in the cookie jar explanations hardened into hostile seals. Sneers. Hello, this face hole. And get the face hole. What's the matter, pal? Get lost on your way to the funny farm. Okay, you, because you're going to go there. Things are about to get, about to get ugly. Click on the arrow on the bottom of the screen. Bomb. Right of the dialogue panel to advance the text. All right, got it. Oh, right there. After a few clicks, you'll have to click on the player response to advance the dialogue. Depending on your current stat or stat skills, you may get an additional response, which will give you an initial, which will give you an advantage in combat. Select your response. Before combat begins, you have an option to reposition. First, you may pass a check against and hit on. Or check against the highest bypass skill in your party. If if you succeed, each character in your party can reposition a number of tiles based on their bypass skill. All right. There you can move to this is to is outlined in blue. Complete repositioning to begin combat. Number of actions you can perform in a turn is determined by your action points AP. You can see the number of AP you have at the bottom side of the screen. We'll get to that in a second. The cold laughter aside, their victim moans raised to a high raised to the level of perception. The man on the rank of conscience, head rolling and erratic arcs face bloody in the internal interplay of fear and anger. The la the latter gains a ascendance. Sister Simmons. Since you're giving us a laugh, or since you're giving us a laugh, I'm gonna make I'm going to make you a one-time limited super special offer. Get the F out of here while you still can it. She didn't say F. Alright, you got two options. Refuse to leave is the double option. Because leaving would be uh, against the point of the game. And the guy's being a good guy. And a good Samaritan and all that. And vigilante, and we got a second one for prescience. Paying in paying indifference to the threat. Let's do that. You mean silent, casually hitching your so shoulders in a appreciatory gesture? I think that's what that word is. And then you catch it. The sudden shift in attitude toward uncertainty in their sheer great glance. There's nothing. Leave nothing to go on, and right now their idea of you is drifting somewhere between psychopath and push off soldier. He is it may, this is still heading toward a fight. Yeah, but now, uh, but now they are kind of uh, maybe a little scared of us, um, because they know they're going to get roughed up. And you know me, I am the good guy mercenary. I have been to many, 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 my been to many, many countries, many, many worlds. Fighting for the good fight. We have a little money on the side, but was it a good fight? Let's go repositioning. Based on your highest party bypass level, you have a 65% chance of repositioning. Attempt tactical repositioning. Is there a reason not to? Um. Like you say, there's the reason not to try, so let's try it. Failed. Failure. Have it begins. Sorry, right, doesn't matter. Alright, now we look at the rest of the stuff. Okay, AP instead of the screen, those are the green squares. Got it. 
Next, when I leave Epi, you use you must end your turn allowing the other characters to act. When all characters have acted, your AP will be restored. Alright. Green shows the number of AP you have left. Yellow shows the number of AP current action will use. Red shows used AP. Alright. Graphics are actually really good. I mean, again, they're still the they're still on the lower end of 3D graphics. But they're in a good lower 3D graphics. Um, it could be a whole lot. I mean, it's very crisp. Everything is very crisp. The shadows are very nice and clean. Uh, let's... That's the wrong direction. Just like in XCOM. Uh, model... Character models are... Simple. Definitely the environments are taking top form. I'll be... You know, it, this is a Kickstarter game, so... This is an alpha for a Kickstarter game, so... Or it's alpha demo for a Kickstarter game, so... Uh... We'll see how it progresses. Is where you switch your camera around? No. Not completely free camera, at least, I don't think. Wait. Okay, quickly check. Oh, well, we cannot save in game. Oh, so, so no in game save coming. You can save scum out of, but out of, you know, in the menus, but you cannot save scum in in game. Alright, that's good to know. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we're clockwise and then clockwise being your guy. And it's here by 90s. I should come until they're off. Let's see what this does. Save. The extra went off and on. As it typically does. Uh. Yeah, there's a little difference, but it's not that big. It just makes things a little bit more blurry. It seem to... I prefer it normal. Again, having like a comic book, or having like comic book or no R, would be... Having a comic book or no R would really be nice. So yeah. Okay, the Goonie. Alright, that's fine. I like, I like maximum game being having simple camera controls anyway. Alright, oh, that's one one. Uh, next, the orange and blue display show styles, which you can reach in the turn. Alright, I'm saying orange is sprinting, blue is normal. Blue show tiles you can reach with enough AP left over to use your current equipped item. Moving to an orange tile, or orange tile will leave you unable to use your equipment. Equipped item this turn. Alright. To move, right click on the tile. The first right click on the tile will draw the movement path. The second right click will execute the order. Moving costs 1 AP per tile. Alright. To change your equipped item, left click on your current item on the bottom left. And then select the item you like to equip from the list. Alright, can we just do for free? Yes, we can. And of course, we can run that far with the gun in order to fire it. It's time to take down the take down the hood. If you prefer an in combat, move the Jason tile to a hood. Right click on them and launch an attack. And of course, since this, since this is obviously a more rundown city in America, let's presume the South. We are we have a we have a uh, we have uh, we have a concealed carry permit. As well as, apparently, we have, um, we have, like, an advanced form of the Floridian self-defense law. It basically, we can defend other people. Or at least, we don't care. Or our guy doesn't care. Zen does not care. We switch between the far, uh, the weapons far modes by left-clicking when you are targeting the enemy. Up to fire quickly or take more time to lap a shot, alright. If the hit points, HP is running low, change. Or if your hit point is running low, change the first aid kit to, by left clicking currently equipped item, selecting first aid and right click on yourself. Where you got? After you have taken down the thug and spoken to your new pal, press loot and leave automatically to pick. Or wait, press loot and leave to automatically pick up any loot. All right. 
You can do this randomly by moving over the backpack, pressing him in, pressing store lower left, and clicking, dra clicking dragging item. So is there a reason to do that, or do we not? Is there no reason? All right. Well, what shall we do? No, let's be, let's be, let's be nice and punch them. All right. So I want to, you know what? Let's get over here because you can only sister seven's gonna only go over here, go over here. So if we go here, be ours again. So yeah, or we can fall back behind cover and then fire our gun. And there's, and there's two good chances. Oh, we got crouch, kill opponent. Oh, aha! You kind of knew. Yeah, as you can see, we can kill opponents or not kill opponents. Yeah, that's cool. They'll be hurting, but they won't be dead. All right. I mean, we got tons of ammo, but I don't think we'll be needing this encounter. Well, we won't know until we try. Let's go punch him. Actually, let's just go rush him, because that seems like a good idea. Keep save our movement. All right, so I want to... All right, so left click, and then what, right click? There we go, right, right click. Now we're, in, now we're in melee range. We're in face stepping range. Or face punching range in this case. And punch him. Right click. Oh, we're kicking him. That works. Err, that's supposed to hurt, right? Try it again. Oh, can't try it again. Cannot back up. Alright, I guess since there we can't do anything else. Evade, nice. I evade you, what you gonna do? Rush us. Okay, now, uh, punch him again. Kick him. There we go. Did that, did that, did that time hurt? All right, kick him again. I'll punch him, there you go. He's knocked out. Now run, uh, do we sit her and hope that she misses, which she probably will with my luck and his evasion. Or do we b fall back and hopefully that she wastes some AP? You know what, let's fall back and let her waste some AP. That's why my facing doesn't matter. Still evaded, now she can, no she can't attack, no she can't attack me, uh, can't attack as much. Alright, now we, um, hopefully this guy knows the, knows the rule of judgment, do we? You do not punch women, you do, you do everything else. Oh, he evaded. Try again. Gotcha. Hey, nice. Do I have to? Oh, no, they can only take one. Sorry, that's fine. Kick her again. Good job. One more time. No punch. No kick. Good work. Breaking, you didn't break any rules that time. All right, Doc. You start toward the man, but he recovers quickly, probes his face with a tender hand, winces, and with effort stand, somehow you. Get an impression what he, what just went down. Oh, whoa! Somehow you get a get the impression what just went down was not a, a, a huge was not a unique occurrence. He extend a bloody hand towards you. I accept. Doc, kid, I'm not sure whether you're tough or clever, clever or mm, kid. I'm not sure whether you're tough and clever or lucky and stupid. But either way, I owe you one. Name's Doc. Why don't you let me patch you up? At least I can do. I, you, won't, you don't need to. Sam Catino. Something's not something's not quite adding up here. He seems Doc was ambushed while leaving his building, a low-end commercial lot, which was which is locked up. Life's off. Chances are, it's his place of work. He scanned a, he scanned the building for a Packard or sign. There isn't one. Huh. You're a doctor? You may be a street doc. Or he just goes by doc. Doc shrugs, expertly conveys indifference with a hint of impatience. Pretty much. I'm a vet by trade. Which is the same as being a doctor when you're dealing with animals like these. Huh. Man is more ape than any ape. Doc aims a kick at the nearest goon who moans distantly under the impact. Oh come on, that's not that's not nice. 
I know they were doing it to you, but that's not nice. Do it back to them. You know better, Doc, don't you? You get the you get the picture. You come in leaking blood, crying about getting shot while holding up a convenience store or participating in some other degenerate pastime or degenerate pastime. I hook them up with some nitrous oxide. They laugh some, pass out, then poke. Then I poke the lead out. Most of the time, they don't mug me afterwards. Yeah, like I said, street dog. Hey, Giggle Doc. Sam knows better. Doc. You really gonna stop reading dime novels, kid? Your brain go. Your brain. Your brain. Your brain will go soft. You'll end up a modern day Don Quixote. Mass proling down the belly of, of the night city. Heroically righting the wrongs of an injustice world, dot dot. Yes, and you got a problem with that? Sam Catino. You look at each other. At each of the downheads and turn, then turn the dock. He cracks a grin. It would appear that the per that the process has already begun. Yeah, doc. Listen, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going. Listen, I'm going to have to lay low after this. I'll patch you up before I clear out on the house. Give you some meds and my in my new address. In case you're planning on making a habit out of this. Yeah, I'm gonna need you. All right. So can we go over there and look? In turn, go there. Or not. All right, Lou and Leaf. Where you search area? I guess she found Storm Drain. It's called the Trivial. Success 86%. The 10th one. Oh, that's what Bypass does. I thought Bypass. I imagine, I imagined in my head Bypass was, you know, picking locks. In the picking locks on the level, in the level basically to move around better. I wasn't expecting it to basically be I'm grabbing, which is a good thing I put. It's a good thing I put bypass on my on Sam because he's gonna need it. All right, well, bypass, success, monies, finds a treat. So this is vehicle. The other one was a storm drain. Difficulty trivial. Success 86 percent. Tenth one. Do it. Success. My first machete. Oh, we got one. Okay, she not found. Alright, that's good. And then this burns, I guess. Alright, get out of here. Help me out the thing. Alright, well, let's sell the machete. We won't be needing anything that stops people. Well, does that anyway? But I would like the S I would like the SKS before buying it. I would like to look at the SKS before buying it. Alright, so actually let's look at our armor real quick. Available. Oh, different ammos. These are more high power, high powerful round or high powered rounds, which I can't look at right now. You can look at the description. Sorry. I don't think we really need first all. Actually, our first all we didn't get hit, so we're good. I think. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. I see. Compare here. Compare time four minutes. Upgrade this armor. Something. Oh, I noticed the sign. No lowering. Guess what Sam's doing? Breaking the laws while punching people that are. Well, breaking laws while punching people that are breaking laws. Uh, kind of hypocritic, but oh well. Kind of, kind of hypocritical, but oh well. Um. Oh, that's not what I meant. I'm gonna do this. G P C P two. But overall, I love to say, by the way, it's so easy. Although it doesn't tell you any, well, it tells you time and date, which I'm per. But it, no, it doesn't matter if you could see it. It doesn't matter if there's a picture or not because it's just because you're in menus. But you know, it's nice having the date there. And it'd be nice having the, it'd be nice when the game actually gets finished and adds the map. It'd be nice to have a, over, a picture of you, a picture of the overview of the map and And the in-game days, if there is any. But anyway. Oh, look, we got... Mecha. Sorry, that's fine. It's ammo, alright. Well, next mission. Machine 2 is over here. Okay, it goes bam, 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 bam. Alternates. Alright. Hell have no fury. Seven new fam potential ally must eradicate, must execute themselves from a trap. Tips the are skill shooters. 
don't stand in the open. Okay. That's good to know. Wish I had my SKS. Ah, that's who these guys are. I who these guys are. I thought they were you. A name. Give me a name. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah. Spotless fits on the oil stained concrete. Saliva is heavily modded, by, modded with blood. Despite his situation and, and evident pain, he. Oh, I just noticed that the uh, admissions restart the next story, which I guess would make sense. He definitely, I mean, it doesn't matter for you, other than, other than my, I might cut out at a, at a random time, or my, my, basically, that my, my car might be weird. He definitely, he definitely he'll hold his integrated stare. Na, Nath Nathaniel Cook, I, actually, I've never seen that name spelled before, I only think I only hear, I think I only have heard it said a couple of times. Nathaniel Cook, because I'm used to Nathan. Uh, Nathaniel Cook. Gonna have to be better than that. The Paris was the Paris for this sort of thing. And train dot dot. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The sir she searches for or driving the barrel vicious a vicious or dr driving the barrel of a vicious looking SMG into his smiling shoulder. Based on the skrill intensity of this of his screen, the barrel lined up perfectly with the with a gunshot wound already uh, or recently authored. Oh great. A name or a meme. Not going to ask again. We're not going to ask again. Nothing cook. The grasping survivalist catches your side of you. The jerk of his head ex and a jerk of his head and expression on his face is enough to tap his interrogator off to your presence. Oh great. Well, at least we're well, at least we're not at least they know we're here now. We're not going to sneak up on them. Be on chivalrous. Push mark, push mark, push mark. He turns in a blur, stopping with the smooth precision as the SMG draws level with your head. Good luck with that. Her about you, or her about you. I'll take the fact you haven't shot shot me yet as indication you don't intend to. I recommend against displaying my social optimism. Ah, but uh, Nathaniel Cook. The smiley shakes his head, grinning. He has a lot. He's a look of a man with plenty of spirit. But not the, but not the most finely honed sense of self-preservation. Great, another freak in a fancy dress. Maybe you wanna hook up, start family. Not my type. I don't go shooting people in the shoulder. I'm poking them with my gun afterwards. And I don't prefer, and I prefer the more. I wanna bring you to justice, and I might listen it if you help me. Instead of, you know, the good old interrogation techniques of what she's doing. Which are not good at all, the devil. Push mark, push mark, push mark. It's immediately obvious that the survivalist comment hits something. She snarls, pose, poise, and precision gone as she lashes out. Catching survivalist in the mouth with the brutal backhand. Which connects with a sharp crunching, crunching cell. Wow. Backhand with the power of a punch. You think you'll cook. Cyberless reels wobbing jerkily like a spinning top that's about to quit, but seems to recover at the sound of heavy vehicles coming to stop nearby. Oh, great. He works up a smile, revealing a five figure dental bill. When he speaks, his words have a hissing, terpene quantity. Stupid female canine. And he didn't say female canine. You don't even have the faintest idea how you effed up or how effed up you are. I bet she does or doesn't. Push mark, push mark, push mark. Before you can react, the woman, the woman calmly reveals the barrel between the survivor's eyes and flicks the trigger. Everything that the man was, the faces and things he knew, or perhaps more accurately in this situation, thought he knew, sprayed and Dark red, or er, splayed in dark red guts across the oil stained concrete slabs. Company! Gonna have a fight our, going have to fight our way out. No, we're going, I'm, we're going to help each other? Okay. Sam Catino, I got your back. Do we? Alright, alright, things about to get real ugly. Click to the dialogue and check out the next tutorial slides or some technical recommendations, alright? Let's not read that real quick. Our technical repositioning. 
Your last party skill, you have a 60% trick chance of repositioning. I think we should try. Oh, we would! Alright. Arr, that's the wrong way. Oh, great! We don't have the faintest idea where they're coming from, but this is not as useful as it could. Actually, yes, it is. Assuming we're not playing XCOM, which we aren't. Let's hope the walls don't blow up as easy as they do in XCOM. Oh, we are actually in a pretty safe fight. Alright, so where do we want to go? We want to get close to the corner or further away from the corner? No, let's get closer. Yeah, over here would be nice gaining cover and then we can fight the Murray guys. Bam, and then you. Uh, actually, I'm saying you look like a ninja to me. Although you have an Uzi. A ninja with an Uzi, which would make sense. Whether or not you have any melee skill or not, we're going to find out. Uh, go there. Combat begins! Over. Well, I'm really loving the game right now. I'm glad that I checked it out. Um, that's the music. Alright, things about to get real ugly. Oh, yes. Nah, I, I want to see what the game, I want to see what the game throws us. Alright. So, obviously, we need to get that corner now. We won't get, yeah, we won't get in the corner. And then switch guns. I think we're running guns, guns, guns in this one. Alright, how many enemies are we fighting? Obviously, we are fighting four, because you see that, see that up there. Now, this game actually reminds me of a lot of, uh, what is that game called? I, I've been trying to remember it, because this game reminds me a whole lot of it. But it wasn't, uh, but I think it was a, it was a sandbox zombie management game that came up, came out, uh, when it, I it came up like two or three years ago, this is 20, I'm recording since 2016, of course. And you guys, this game reminds me a whole lot of it. It's, it takes the RPE aspects of that with the combat of XCOM, which is a great, which is a good thing. Um, okay, can we just click on you? Oh, no, oh. Can I click on you? Because it's not your turn yet. We're going... Alright, so it's not, everyone, it's not, we all move, and then they all move. It's... They won't move based on the uh, based on the turn timer. All right, that makes sense. All right, we got guns. All right, what is the what is the white? What is the blue? I guess the white is our normal hit chance, and then the blue is a crit. The line of sight. Oh, that's our line of sight. Then what's the blue then? Your dodge chance? Maybe. I failed. Try again. Oh, it's fishing at me. All right. Um. Crouch. Oh, okay. 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 Half cover you crouch. No cover you crouch. Behind a wall. Don't have to crouch. Great guy. Center. And you. You're gonna move up. You have you have an, you have an Uzi. You got your you got your hands. Ah, yes, yeah, so you can either incapacitate or murder them, and whatever, and what, basically, small and crossbones probably mean you kill them. Um, they're in kill, they're in kill things mode. Um, uh, and the dust with all the branches means they won't kill things, so don't kill things, please. Thank you. Be a good guy for me, please. Run. Understood. That's your voice. Here comes this guy, oh great. Okay, so movement that much. They moved in their full alliance. Okay, now we're fully, now we're fully, uh, now we're fully sitting here, so open fire. 24, 27. Alright, or I should have got more, I you know I knew it was going to get more guns, I should have made this come more world wounded, I knew it was going to need that. Alright, yeah, fire and I'm the young gun. Oh, it actually gets out covered in fire, alright, try again. Fine. You can only fire one gun a turn, alright? That's not good. Yeah, I know. Shotgun guns character. Alright, you. Alright, we can't do that. We're not playing XCOM. You can move me from one, but I don't want to. Alright, enter. Switch your line of sight. Alright, she cannot fire and move at the same time. Alright. 
Um, you can find that corner. Understood. I right, go ahead and stick it back up. Yep. Thinking a key matters in this game. All right, we're going over time. All right. You sit tight. No, well, I'm for going the tool depth because I want to have a fear experience. Oh, great! Yes, rush me. That's a good thing. Remember, bullets cost money. We don't get we don't get infinite allotment of them. Okay, you're going to fire on the question mark lady. You are. I do like the fact that the bullets. I like the fact that the bullets traveling actually makes sense. We'll see if it does actually make sense. If that, and if that just not for if that. And let's see if the bullet traveling actually makes sense, or it's just for looks. But pretty sure it's just, it pretty sure it makes sense. Unlike it so much doesn't. All right. Forty-seven. Number forty-one. Open fire. Fire. You met, how'd you miss? I could make that jump. All right. No, let's actually shift the camera around because I want to see this angle. All right. If we get, if we get there, there's no Overwatch. I don't think. I don't think I want to go there. Um, no more cover here. So what do we do? Get back to normal. We get back here. They run around. They will rush and punch them. Um, because remember they can fire on us now. So yeah, you know what? Back up a bit. Because they're gonna be around us. Yeah, back up a bit. Good. Good turn. You got Uzi. She is not going to likely hit, but you have probably multiple shots. Try it. Nice. Now probably now you back up. Actually, you stay right there for right now. I'm planning on converging both of them so we can fight those guys on equally. What you going to do? Yes, rush me. Yes, rush me. See, now, he, now they can't attack. And now I can attack. I'm gonna fire on question mark lady. See, that's my plan working on his plan. Switching over to melee. Taking the gloves off, or taking the gun off, switching on the gloves. Move up, and melee. Melee again. Nice, nice. Just a lucky, or just that at a that at lucky shot <laughs> with my feet I don't think so all right um yeah in turn the fire again oh, I should pull her back although she's distracting this person okay, keep distracting them please yes yeah, she has a three shot burst which can I change the fire mode not or I didn't understand how you do that okay that's a camera or that doesn't have a different fire mode all right you sit there if you end your lower all right melee try again oh, oh you got me okay go move around yes you are they're in combat they're in melee oh does he have a gun he's going to shooting by shooting past his friends he missed reach the problem they suck at aiming be frank, we do too. All right, keep engaging, keep engaging. Oh, and they made. Oh, they're good at dodging. All right, let's zoom in for this. Nice, and we're out. Actually, should I should have backed up? Ah, getting two shots in the actually is a good idea. Okay, we're out of turn. We're out of our turn. Next. Okay, you keep firing. Once you take, once you take out her. You got to get out her. Now fall back. Understood. You get you moving. Keep me laying. Oh great. They actually are good at fighting me in melee. Another thing to kill. Nice. I, I love. I love the. I love the. I love the melee animations in this. It's so natural. All right. Do we run away and fall back to question mark lady? Um. Although they will get guns and shoot us. You know what? Take Anna Young out first. She's down. Or, I'm used to having. Eh, eh. 
that's a hurt, right? All right, then open far on, all right, and then start engaging in melee. Oh, miss. That's not good. Maybe I should have fell back. And I get on the corner. Or I should just have you rush. Your aim's terrible. Or I keep calling you. You're, you're not, oh, you're, you're Alina Furre. All right. All right you sit tight. Melee. It's going to go again. Yep. Hello, oh, we're taking module damage. Moving forward. Nice miss. All right. All right. Engage with melee, actually, or run. Yeah, run. Actually, what if we get our gun out? Actually, you know, he can't hit you, so keep engaging in melee. Oh, evade. Eva. Try again. Remember, they can get their... Because remember, getting a gun out of the free action in this game, you can easily... If I fall back, they can easily get a gun out and shoot me, so it doesn't matter. Or rush me. Alright, Anna. Keep going, Anna. Push mark, lady. How do you... Or how do you take extra fire? All right, I'll engage on him. Or do you rush? Ah, oh, I mean, it, actually, he hit him. She hit him, so good job. He's feeling fire, so I think increased. All right. Um, actually, run. Oh, and hopefully he doesn't attack you. Understood. So engage me, like yes, you are. Dragon, I'll. Oh, well, something that time. Cover. Head. All right, kneeling gal there. He's down, and I'll fall back. Bring him to Anna's view. I should get down that little lamp post. That sounds a good idea. This is a good idea to me. I keep calling you Anna. Go spark a lady. Miss. We're taking some serious hurts. Now run away. Fall back, my sir. Fall back, Sam. Okay, just checking to see if, uh, just checking for a video. All right. Can you engage from there? You are right, Crash Boot. If you can, do so. I'll the dirt. Or I'll hit the dirt. Raise it tight. And. You really have to gain if you the ground like that. Okay, you fall back. Actually, you fall, um, you fall back because you're hurt. You fall there. Um, get your gun out. No sense in using a med kit. Keep trying to, we don't all move in one turn. All right, you need to get moving all the way over here and then bring him into the kill zone. Understood. Hope he's coming. And he didn't run. Yeah, it's gonna suck the him in two seconds. Okay, open fire! That's a miss. Try again. Oh, miss my man. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting an impression that it's kind of difficult to, uh, you know, the, the feeling between movement and shooting is a bit too close for my liking. It should be a little bit different um, than what it is. I like how when things come out, you like pick a gun and then you fire instead of you basically you pick move, you pick gun. In this game, it's simpler, hard, easy to understand. However, because of it, you can make a mistake like I did one two turns ago, where basically I, uh, I meant Anna to run where she shot instead, or my guy to shoot, or something like that. But basically, yeah, I basically made a mistake and shot instead when I wanted to run. Didn't really matter, but still. Mistake shouldn't have been made. Alright, you need to crouch. Begin fire. Your turn. Here he comes. Oh, he's coming into melee range. You know what? Why, why, why don't we oblige him? I should get around back so, uh, Quishmark Lady has a clear shot. My guy's amazing at dodging melee. 
Okay, push mark lady, uh, let's see if, uh, you know, friendly fire's on. Can't do it. I have ammo. Reload. Okay, reload dead. Still crushing good. Alright, now fire. Can't do it. Never mind. Enter. Yep. Game melee. Yes. That's like I'm melee. Okay, now start meleeing him. Alina, push mark lady, open fire. Don't miss my guy. Don't hit my guy. Thank you. Good job. Yes, let's loot and leave. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Now, now let's read this since I won. With these, I mind you. I mean, it's only taking mission, but still. Without the tutorial tips. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Alright, you're up against survivalists this time. Members of the paramilitary organization were more closely resembling an army than a street gang. Because they're probably thinking of themselves as a militia to defend, I don't know, whatever people make up to defend in America that is not freedom, democracy, and the American government. Oh, uh, by the way, you're simply, they're, you're simply equipped, you're simply equipped, I'm armor two to one, charging isn't a good idea. Yep. Servalists are also very skilled with firearms. Trained fire isn't a good idea unless you're invested in some hardware. <laughs> or have walls. And or get and or get the friends of melee. Melee at 4 is an SMG. It's not very accurate, but it can do a lot of damage up close. Yeah, but it's a three shot no, yeah, it's a three shot three shot shit thing. Illumination, wait at the edge of the building, don't let the don't give them LOS and ambush them as they run the corner. You can also fire from cover at corners. And finally, try to take one of them out quickly before their mass firepower takes you down. Good luck. Like, what happened? All right, got her the first time. All right, you. Oh, look for stuff. All right, I'm guessing you found. So I'm drain. Uh, trivial, a 6%. One attempt, threat. Success. And suspicious, suspicious vehicle. Easy. Oh, easy. Difficulty. 57 chance of, chance of, chance of success. One attempt. Bypass. Failure. Oh, no. Oh. All right, enter. Cancer. They took her. There's nothing left. A year of days of rage and grief. A constant cycling between gym, firing range, dojo. A year ago, a nearly hysterical woman crossed the threshold of the Rikers City Civic Gym for the first time in her life. The same but a different person walked out those doors this evening. Every survivalist thug in this city has a boss. One of those bosses gave the order, and he or she is out there right now, living out the violent, end of days, gun nut fantasy that is the survivalist approximation of a normal life. I'm going to keep stepping over corpses until I get a name. And when I do, I'm going to find them and teach them the true nature of violence. Now if we help you down the right path of justice and freedom and democracy and all that, but doing it the right way, to putting, put, to taking them down peace, or taking them down non and then putting them in jail for the rest of their lives. Ah, yeah, the art, this, this art grows on me, yeah. And this is our character, Lena Flor and this is our second character, Lena Flory. Uh, enter. Escape. Oh, one of those worked. Alright, we still don't have any points to allocate. No, I mean, we're getting to pass level 1. Lena Flory. So still no points to, uh, points to allocate. Oh, she's really good farm the melee. I thought so! Um, uh, we're saying it's alright. I, mean, I still don't know what they are at glance, but I'm on my knees. Oh, we can buy guns now! Which means we get tons of pistols! Which means we can sell tons of pistols! Let's sell tons of. I don't have tons of pistols? You have tons of pistols! Oh, wow. We just had tons of medkits. We should man the medic. Um. Yeah, can we. DM them? That's not how you do it. Where's the weapons? Um. Can I? Can I repair them? Yeah, 
there we go. I mean, not like it matters, like there's no time or anything right now. It would definitely matter once you are, well, definitely matter once, you definitely matter once there, once there's the world. Or map, I should say. Alright, so, um, yeah, we're going to sell these pistols, we don't need that many. She probably took them off, uh, survivalists. Actually, just put them all in the home inventory. Actually, you you keep one you keep one as backup for right now, and I and I am pretty sure the pistol and the um, pistol and the submachine gun both use the small arm or small caliber ammo, which would make sense. Both using pistol ammo, that's pistol ammo. All right, so let's sell. Actually, you want? No, we need money, so we're going to just keep one as backup. You don't trade as a free start, right? Alright, bye. I definitely wanted to get you a... Actually, you having a shotgun and... You having a shotgun and... SKS would work nicely. So, we can do that. Not, we know we can't do that right now, but we can definitely try later. Yeah, no. Not right now. Uh, now, ammo. We need large cavalry Or medium galver. No, large cavalry, yes. Does it say? Uh, yes, being cavalry, it is. Uh, it is three down. Yeah, I want you to. Have, I want you to be a little bit more sniper. Yes, yeah, so me and Galver. I guess as much as we can afford. Oh, actually. Ooh, that's terrible. We can cover stuff. It's expensive. Yeah, sure. Much as we can afford. No, that's fine. Uh, I'd buy. Now you definitely, definitely get rid of your hands and get ammo. Yes, transfer. There you go. So you have a machine gun and a rifle, and you can switch to pistol if you need to. I don't see like a reason why you need to, but you still can. We still got tons of ammo, which I was right to get tons of ammo at the beginning because we're going to need it. No, oh, she's going to use a ton of pistol ammo because it's an automatic weapon. All right. Oh, we yeah, repair the uh, repair our armor. We're going to need it. Repair the gun. We're going to need it. I mean, I guess, I guess for the sake, I guess if I make a series of this game, which I actually might, um, I could, you know, I could have a, I could have a rule basically in between episodes, uh, basically, in between missions, I repair the small time things, in between episodes, I repair the large time, uh, repairs, so yeah. And I'm kind of glad that the repairs only take time, they don't actually take resources, at least not right now. Alright, so, yeah, I actually repair our pistol as well. Alright, so I think I have enough, I think I played enough of the game to come with a verdict. Um, make it GP, CP3. Oh yeah. And also, GP2. There we go, and now back out all the way to the menu. Alright, so what do I think of Vigilante's Alpha Demo? Actually, it's pretty amazing. Um, do I put it on the same tier at Amazing? Do I put it on the same tier of Amazing as CrossCode? Um, do I? Do I, do I, do I? It's close. It's really close. Um, it, it's in a different category. But... Yeah, it is really close. Uh, I, I really do like Vigilantes, and I'm glad that I did try it. Again, I saw it on Alpha Beta Gamer. I thought it was pretty cool, but, you know, I've been pretty busy the last week or so after I saw it. I just never had time until, like, today, and then tomorrow I'm going to do I'm gonna be doing the Alpha 1, so I had basically today to play it, and I played it today, and I'm glad that I did. It is definitely, definitely worth checking out in the Alpha Demo stage. It's worth Kickstarting. Uh, I would say the developer did finish a game. Uh, they do have a game published on Steam. It is successful, I think. Well, it is, uh, it is reviewed positively. Uh, it's definitely a full game. I forgot what, I forgot, I forgot, like, the bad things about the game. I think it was, uh, like, 
I check. I I forgot what it was, but yeah. And the demo's looking really, really good. Uh, you can definitely tell what they said about the four thousand over four thousand hours put into it. Definitely shows. Definitely pay. Uh, definitely shows. And um, yeah. I mean, I would definitely think it is worth putting in, like uh, putting in eight, putting in like eight euros or eleven euros into the Kickstarter to uh get the to get the game if it gets kickstarted and the alpha beta. Which if it has a PayPal I might actually do. Um I don't think it has PayPal. I, I'm looking right now, I don't think it's a PayPal. Unfortunately. So I won't be able to back it because um unfortunately Kickstarter does not use PayPal anymore, neither does it use Amazon, uh uh, the, Am the Amazon payment system, uh, which is unfortunate. Both I would definitely use if I could, but I can't. So, um, I'm most unfortunate, but I can do, I can do a next best thing, which is, tell you all, you should probably check it out. Uh, is it worth backing on Steam Greenlight? Oh, yes it is. Uh, yeah, yes it is, it is worth backing on Steam Greenlight, it's definitely worth, it's, de it's definitely worthy of Steam, at least the alpha demo is. And you know you you got the you got the small issue of should I back it on Greenlight even though it's not kickstarted yet? Um, there's no reason not to really. All Greenlight basically means is it lets all basically Greenlight means is it lets Steam know, it lets Valve know. Oh, people like this game. When it is ready or able, it should go. It should probably go on Steam. And Bell will put it on Steam when it is ready and able. If it's never ready or able, they never put it on Steam. No harm, no foul. He's like, if there is no real bad thing about it, although I always thought that was like a, a odd thing about asking for Steam Greenlight, about asking for Steam Greenlight before you kickstarted. But like I said, uh, this game is the second game by a developer, so yeah, it definitely can. Uh, it definitely can. Uh, it, it definitely probably will get finished at some point, but yeah, and I don't think this be a early access game either. I could be wrong though. I didn't really. I, I basically, you know, you know me. If, if you know my channel, you know me. I basically, I basically glance through. I basically glance through Steam pages, websites, a Kickstarters for like the base information. And when I'm doing the video, I glance at. I, I glance at it harder for even more information to do the video. So basically, I give I basically I get the bare minimum information for myself. So when I play it, I play it blindly, so I can give out the information as I play. So I basically can give out the information as I play, um, to get my first reactions to the information and the gameplay. And then this game, and um, yeah, I mean definitely for Kickstarter, it's definitely one of the cheaper ones to uh, pledge, and uh, pledge for the tier because again most elf most beta games are around forty five fifty dollars US. This is like ten dollars US. And alphas are like seventy dollars US standard on Kickstarter or standard going for Kickstarter games. Of course alphas can always be backed by betas or be cheaper or more expensive based on various things but yeah. But you know and then the standard it's a Kickstarter you know it's a you know backing Kickstarter is it might not ever get finished. Or might not have to get finished in a way that they wanted it to be. Or actually, this is pretty of all of those of all three caveats. This is most likely one. It may take off forever to finish because I don't know a single Kickstarter other than Kickstarters have been Kickstarter before and before and before, uh, like the Shadow Run Return series where they get finished on time. Which, by the way, this game reminds me heavily. Uh, this game highly reminds me of the Shadow Run Return series, except less dark. And more, more, let's take more fun. Um, I mean, I, I thought this game was gonna be pretty dark, but it's actually pretty happy. Um, so it's definitely going for the more comic book, uh, Batman. Uh, the list is basically going. It's serious. It's deadly serious, but it's like Fallout terms of dark, where Fallout is very happy. Uh, Halo is very happy, even though it's taking place. You know, like aliens are trying to kill all all humankind, and they're and they're winning. And but we are. Having awesome, we're we're doing awesome. No, we're doing awesome small battles. We're just killing aliens, you know. And Command Conquer, oh, the world is, is fall, falling apart by Tiberium. But you know, we're busy defending. You know, we're busy defending against Nod. Um, 
and it's just, you know, a little war to us, so, yeah. And then I do like this. Um, and, you know, it has the XCOM, you know, it has, like, the basic XCOM feel with RPG, with RPG elements of more, of newer, of newer tactical games coming out, newer, newer uh, real-time, or newer, newer turn-based tactical games, uh, again, like, uh, like Shadowrun Returns, and XCOM, and stuff like that, or XCOM, but, um, I can't that one game, I one game I forget, um, but actually, I can quickly look it up, because I know who to look it up from, um, Because I remember who I was watching with it. I should have looked this up earlier. But yeah, I mean, also with RPG elements of like a or like a or Death Age stuff like that or Dead Age, and you know, cl and classic RPGs, and again, Shadowrun Returns. But I guess what this game really is is basically Shadowrun, Shadowrun Returns system with XCOM gameplay and a bat and a Batman archetype. You know the happy Batman, not not the not the not the you know future Batman that is so that you know that's so grim and dark and that's so grim and unhappy. But yeah, so um yeah, this game's definitely worth checking out at least at least the alpha beta. This game's definitely worth checking out at least the alpha at least the uh, alpha demo. And if you want back and if you want to back and if you want to help Iggy Greenlight, I would definitely recommend doing that as well. Especially if you play the alpha demo, do the alpha demo and like it. And if you and if you really really like it and want to help development, you can always do Kickstarter. Um. So yeah, again, links like I said in the previous gameplay video, links in the description to the Indiegogo page or not Indiegogo page, but the IndieDB page where you can download the game and it's great. Right, it's primary website. Uh, the Steam Greenlight page to do that. The, the Steam Greenlight page and the uh, and the Kickstarter. I believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, all right, but anyway, so I'm trying to look for that up. But anyway, so um, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate, but do appreciate you watching. Guys, watching on this video, uh, video means a lot to me. Also, means a lot to me to leave a comment. This is Tim Rotor. Thank you, Justin, for this series. Orange Defender I'll play. Um, Vigilantes Alpha Demo in general. No tips, needs comments for your dual dip. For people the dual dip. Also, oh, I do have a Twitter, which is Twitter channel. This was a as in which I, you know, in, on which I Twitter channel, channel these as well as news, as well as news, games I do, do I have done, or news in general. I think I think web And also, if you're interested in playing your game mod or or doing a goal up, I do have a business. I do have a business email in which now you can contact me on, or if you prefer, you can use, you can use or if you prefer, you can use. And if you prefer, you can use. Sorry, getting stuck on it. If you prefer, you can use. I'm really stuck on it. If you prefer, you can use YouTube private message. Um, if you have any video questions about this video or session for this or session for a series, uh, which you can definitely do a series, play all the missions. Um, I can uh, please put in the comments below so people, so people can see if they have some questions or session. And that game I was talking. And the game I was talking about was Dead State. Uh, so yeah. Alright, but anyway, so that'd be it for this video, and I guess, see you in the skin.